All right, so I got 20 minutes. 20 minutes, and I'll start when your first fight happens. All right, let's start at any time. All right, Three, two, one, let's go. Yep. Good afternoon. Today, I am at Nikki's Bellum Arena in Bellingham, Washington, taking on what they call their Super Monster Mega Challenge Burger. Now, I'm just gonna read the description straight off of the uh, menu. Now, this burger says it has two full pounds of ground chuck steak served on our special toasted bun, which features six slices of American cheese, lettuce, tomato, and our special sweet red relish and mayo. You cannot fit this burger in your mouth. I would recommend a knife and fork or use your fingers. If you can eat it all in 20 minutes, including the three plus pounds of steak fries, it is free, no charge. If the plate ain't clean, you better hand over the cash. If you finish it all, you win a Squire Stratocaster guitar. And if you don't finish it, then uh, you gotta pay $39.99 for the burger. Now, Nikki's Bella Marina is located right on the uh, coast. You can look out the window and see all of the boats and everything like that. This is the kind of place that you would go immediately after fishing or, I don't know, a full day of yachting if you happen to be super rich and own a big boat like that. They serve all kinds of greasy uh, diner food, as I'm sure you could guess by the fact that I'm eating a giant friggin' greasy burger. Look at those onion rings. They are so incredibly delicious. They didn't have like a typical onion ring breading on them. Uh, they were nice and light uh, on the outside. It was almost like a tempura fried onion ring or something like that. They were really incredible. Some of the best onion rings I've ever had. So they do have a gourmet burger uh, menu. It has all kinds of incredible things on it, including things like their bacon mushroom cheeseburger, two thirds a pound of ground chuck steak, which is already a giant burger, uh, on our special toasted bun, which features thick strips of honey cured bacon, a mountain of sauteed mushrooms in butter and American cheese. I mean, how can you say no to something like that? And of course, all of these burgers are served with all you can eat, what they call private reserve uh, steak fries. They also have a spicy four alarm burger, which is made with what they call their hot four alarm sauce. Might be uh, spicy, I don't know, I didn't try it. Uh, they also have a quadruple bypass burger, a big bad boy. Uh, most of these burgers just have a ton of meat with either Thousand Island sauce or just piled high with mayonnaise because uh, how can you go wrong with extra mayonnaise on a burger, I guess? They also have their Mondo Fish Dog Burger, a couple of uh, seafood options for folks that don't want to eat beef. Uh, their Mondo Fish Dog, a huge slab of fresh hand-cut fish dipped in our tempura batter, nestled between one of our handcrafted whole wheat buns with lettuce and smothered with our tartar sauce, served with all-you-can-eat fries. Uh, they also have the Big Hot Texan, the Caesar Salmon Burger, and the Ooey Gooey Cheesy Bacon Burger. I mean, the menu itself just reads like, it makes your mouth water. It's incredible. If you guys are ever in Bellingham, I would definitely encourage checking this place out. Now, as for the challenge itself, uh, it was actually quite a bit more difficult than I was expecting it to be. When they served the food, it came out absolutely piping hot. I had a lot of trouble getting started. I was a little bit slow to start. I really should have let it cool down a little bit more. Uh, you know, mistakes were made. And that 20 minute time limit that they have to finish this challenge is really tight. That is absolutely what the entire challenge is. This volume of food is quite large, much more food than most people could eat. But for a seasoned competitive eater, you know, seven pounds of food, not a huge amount. So it really did come down to trying to shove it all in my mouth in 20 short minutes.
I think I can do it. <laughs> At this point, about half of my time is gone in the challenge, and I was really worried that I might not be able to finish. Uh, I still had a couple of those burger patties left, and of course, that giant pile of fries. I was hoping that I could eat the french fries while the burger itself cooled down, but those thick cut steak fries held on to heat for a really long time. It's great for a regular meal, but uh, not if you're trying to eat them really fast. Now usually I would not use a condiment like ketchup, but I was hoping that the ketchup would uh, help cool things down a little bit, hoping that the cold ketchup would kind of counteract the hot french fries. And you can see I'm loosening my belt there because my stomach is starting to get really full. I think that was a combination of the carbs from the fries and the fact that I did have to drink a lot of that ice water that they're bringing me uh, just to cool my mouth off because this hot food was absolutely scorching my mouth. Kind of trying to change it up a little bit to fight through the flavor fatigue. The burger patties had a really rich uh, smoky flavor and smoky meat just doesn't really agree with me. I know that smoky meats might be something that some people like, but yeah, just not my bag. So you can see that Stratocaster guitar hanging in the background. Uh, at this point, I was really not sure whether or not I'd be able to finish it. And this one does come down to the wire. So make sure you stick around to the end to see if I am able to grab that guitar. All right, one last note before I sign off and let you guys watch the rest of it. I do want to remind you guys that this is a small channel and there is that subscribe button down there. It doesn't cost you a thing, but if you could click it, it definitely does help me out. All right, guys, I'm going to log off. I'll let you watch the rest of this in peace and uh, see how it shakes out. I'll catch you guys later.
Going to the ER later. I'm trying to catch you. It's on there. Nice. <laughs> 